three inch exhaust. It's a meaty bit of kit this is. Hi guys, Dazza. In 2021, uh, it was a hot July day. Um, and I took my car over to Dyna Days. I was going to have a Piper 4 to one manifold fitted and a Piper Sports Cat because I wanted to remain legal, obviously, for the MOT route. Um, also, on the car at that time, I had a Scorpion uh, dual ex exit resonated exhaust and a bit of a home age HKS, uh, which you've probably seen on the videos um, in the past that we've put out. So that's where we were in 2021 on a hot July day. Went over, had the pipe manifold fitted, had the sports cap fitted, and then we did a dyno run. The car had crappy fuel in, had E10 fuel in because there was no um, Shell Ultra available at the time. Um, so it was run on rubbish fuel, but we still made 222 um, brake horsepower, which was like immensely surprising to me and quite surprising, I think, to, to, to dyno days as well. But that's where we're at at the moment. Jumping forward to 2022, December 2022 actually, I wanted to make some improvements on the mods that you've seen. So the first thing I've done, I've gone for the Dyna Days 3 inch exhaust. Um, the fitting exhaust and the customization on the exhaust that was done at Dyna Days, you're gonna see as we go through the video. Okay, so yeah, let's crack on. Okay guys, that's the, uh, the cars up on the ramp at Dyna Days. Um, just ready to take the two and a quarter inch Scorpion dual exit off. Um, doesn't look in too bad a condition to be fair at all after two years. So um, we're looking forward to putting the uh, Dyna Days three inch um, single exit system on. Um, so we'll do, uh, we'll do some tests on the cold start and uh, the tick over in a little while. Uh, might be able to just give you a shot underneath of the uh, Scorpion. Like I say, it uh, seems to be in what you'd expect really after a couple of years and probably only about 15,000 miles. And a little look under there. The uh, Piper Sports Cap there moves on to, and up into the uh, 4 to 1 Piper Manifold. Just a quick shot of the uh, Dyna Days 3 inch uh, sat on the work surface here. Um, what a piece of kit that is. It's, it is real good quality, guys. When you look at close, it's absolutely brilliant. The welds are fantastic. Um, yeah, so hopefully, yeah. Uh, be uh, well impressed with the, the sound and uh, I think it's mine. <laughs> the uh, Scorpion exhaust is off the car, came off really easily. Uh, like I say, it's a two and a quarter inch Scorpion dual exit um, resonated exhaust. Really loved it, whilst I've had it on for two years, it's been a great exhaust, it's in great condition. And uh, so we're ready now to put the uh, single exit three inch Dyna Day's exhaust on, so well excited. Let's have a look. Just to uh, make the uh, three inch exhaust fit at the back, um, we've decided, uh, sorry, Rich has decided to, um, it'd be best to take the cage off the back of the exhaust bezel, the black cage on the back of the triangle exhaust bezel. Um, so that's what they're doing at the moment. Um, we're doing both sides, even though it's a single exit, because uh, it looks so much better, to be honest, without those, uh, that black surround within that triangle. Okay guys, uh, we've started getting the Dyna Days 3 inch exhaust on, uh, Rich and Jenna are on it at the moment, um, obviously we've got to put it on in sections first, make sure we get a test fit on there before we start uh, welding the parts up from front to back. Um, we've got an interesting um, little development at the back of the car where we've took the exhaust bezel uh, cage off the back of the triangle and um, it looks much better in my opinion, uh, without that on it looks sort of a bigger triangle to uh, the exhaust to sit in and I, I would prefer actually for the exhaust to actually sit so it's sort of pointing out of that triangle so uh, we've got a bit of fabrication to do um, but at the moment it's all going really well so yeah let's pop back and have a look. It's a meaty bit of kit this is. It looks uh, so much bigger than the two and a quarter inch Scorpion. 
It's, um, yeah, it's quite shocking how much bigger it looks. What Rich is doing now with Geno is um, just TIG welding the uh, parts up as we go. So we make sure we get a, a really good fit. Uh, to be fair, it looks really good as it is um, before it's even welded up. But uh, we've got some altercations to do on the back just to make it sit in the exhaust bezel really nicely. So this first part um, of the exhaust that you can see Rich doing some alterations on, it's where you can actually adjust the front of the exhaust um, and it's usually clamped. But after talking over it, we, we thought uh, it'd probably be best to avoid any movement in the future and weld those joins up. Um, so that's what uh, Rich is doing at the moment. Now, what do you reckon to that then, guys? Yeah. Oh. Now, we've just got to walk to that. Put that down, obviously. Right, Jello, unbolt this bit. Just unbolt this bit, and I'll master that piece, and then I'll master that one to fit in a minute. You don't want to be like okay. a We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I can't do that. Uh, just the end piece to do now. I don't know. Yeah, basically, um, the standard tip, or the tip on the three inch, steps down to two and a half inch. And the reason for that is to clear the rear trims. Now, what we've done is we've taken the two and a half inch piece off because we want a true three inch. Uh, so what I'm now doing is I want to line this bit of exhaust up obviously with the center of the triangle. Nicely, a three inch bit of pipe fits nicely in the center of the triangle. So we've run that through. We've mitered both sides behind the bumper, which you can't really see. Uh, monitor both sides of that so that it fits together nicely and what I'm doing now is marking on this side where I want to make that cut um, and basically have it short so it's actually behind the trim but it obviously lines up perfectly to the centre of the trim uh, obviously to stop bumper meltage and stuff like that but I think that's about it superb thanks Rich no problem So we're doing the final fit that down, which is uh, welded it up, so just attaching the last piece, sort of get the idea there, how it's going to look. I don't, know, I don't know if you've seen that guys, but the last piece is on, um, that's where it's sitting, at the back of the exhaust, just to show you a close up, that's where we are, at the moment, oh, this looks so much better, so much better, fantastic, okay, so uh, yeah, all what remains to do now is get it down and uh, see what she sounds like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
See, red line was the last time we seen it when we mapped it, and blue line is today uh, with the three-inch exhaust system. Sort of came into its own here, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's made power right across the rev range, and we finish on 225, which is 192 at the wheels. As it's a bit uh, greasy, I'm trying to get the power down, but it's it's actually spinning in second and third as we're trying to get the power down on the short run. But uh, hopefully, you get some idea of what the exhaust sounds like on acceleration there. So there you go guys, you've seen the uh, fabrication on the three inch exhaust um, that uh, Dynaday so kindly did. You've seen the power run after the exhaust is fitted. And yeah, again, power all the way across the range. Only minimal three and a half brake horsepower, but the exhaust definitely made a difference. So this is gonna lead to a couple more mods um, coming forward in the new year, um, which we're looking forward to doing. So stay tuned for those. And uh, just like to say, thanks for everybody subscribing. Keep hitting that subscribe button if you would, it makes all the difference to us. Hit the like button and uh, drop a comment below about the mods that you're having because uh, it's always interesting to hear what people are doing. Thanks again to Dino Days, can't thank them enough. And uh, yeah, I'll see you down the road. Now you bloody work hard, so treat yourself, all right? Get yourself a cold air intake, get yourself an inlet manifold, get yourself a three inch exhaust. I know she wants a kitchen, I know she wants a settee, and I know she wants her air done, but what you want's more important, and put your foot down, all right? Don't accept anything less. Come on, Daz, hurry up. We need to go and look at that kitchen now. Yeah, I'm coming, babe, come in, no problem. Be there any second, all right. We fitted. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Jesus Christ. We fitted. So, we fitted the Diner Days 3 inches. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> did it again, sorry. <laughs> Woo! It's cold. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go and burn up the bee boats. Oh, you're not coming. <laughs>